Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to be talking about the new, the best, the very best tabletop role-playing game that was published in the fifth week of April 2019, and that new tabletop role-playing game, not a source book, is DOGS, D-O-G-S, and that specifically stands for um, Dice Pools and Moral, uh, Dice Pools and Moral Predicament based generic role-playing system. Now, what? What? Like, that is a really long name, right? Well, it's a really wrong name for a specific reason. What Dogs is, it is a generic presentation of the rules in dog Dogs in the Vineyard. Now, what is Dogs in the Vineyard? Uh, if you're a deep-cut indie tabletop role-playing game, you know what Dogs in the Vineyard are. If you're not, I'll explain it. It is a great game created by a gentleman by the name of Vincent Baker. Vincent Baker is famous for creating the Apocalypse Engine. The Apocalypse, the Apocalypse Engine is one of the largest system system rule sets. It's a, a single rule set that has that allows multiple tabletop role playing games to be built under it. Um, so uh, there's there's quite a few of these. Uh, D20 was a, a system rule set, um, and then also the Narrative Dice System Genesis. Uh, is a, a system rule set that one comes out from um, Fantasy Flight Games. Um, there's a there's a and you know the, uh, the World of Darkness rules. That's another system rule set. So the Dogs in the Vineyard is its now. Vincent Baker created the Apocalypse Engine. Dogs in the Avenger in, Dogs in the Vineyard is not an Apocalypse Engine game. Dogs in the Vineyard is a very very unusual game with an unusual history. Okay. Dogs in the Vineyard is incredibly well respected in the indie indie tabletop role playing game at, uh, sphere, right? Um, and it is really, really well respected, and it is a historically important game because people looked at this thing and said, "Oh my gosh, this rules system is really, really uh, incredibly uh, innovative, right? And cool." And in addition to that, um, Dogs in the Vineyard is one of the games that really helped to solidify the idea of player agency in tabletop role-playing games, right? Uh, and that that has reached all the way to Dungeons & Dragons, where inspiration and um, and back, you know, your backstory being part of your actual crunch, things like that. That all come that all started with player agency, and that really grew out of these indie games, right? That didn't really come from pure tactical tabletop role-playing game D and D type style, style play. So, Dogs in the Vineyard is really, really important. Dogs in the Vineyard had an extremely unusual um, role-playing uh, system. Basically, all your attributes were dice pools, and you would take those dice pools, and you would, uh, and so you might have three dice in your dice pool. You would bid the number of dice that you want to roll, and you need to get the highest number, right? So, if you have a 2d6, and you roll a 3, right, on your 2d6, you roll a 2 and a 1, and then your opponent, right, which is the, the game master, uh, rolls a 4, right, you've been beaten by one die, right, and in addition to that, uh, in the encounter, you only have so many dice in the encounter, right, and also, those dice are used as soon as you encounter a non-player character, so you can go into a discussion, and you have to roll your, your, you have you can go into a discussion, and you have to roll your dice, and you, you would roll one dice, or two dice, or three dice, you actually bid dice for your roll, right, and things happen based on how many dice you had when you rolled. So one of the things that's really interesting is, um, so if you win with, if you, if you beat the game master with one die and he had two dice, your, your, your win, what happens with your win is more like, it's almost like a critical or a, um, it's, uh, it's a bigger result, right? Where, and, and in addition to that, you only have this pool of dice for the entire encounter, right? So you have to really preserve your dice. You don't just get to roll your dice over and over again. You have to bid them. You have to use them carefully, Right. Now, I think, and basically in order to get more dice, you have to escalate the situation. So you can escalate from a, um, you can escalate from a discussion to a fist fight, to a knife fight, to a gun fight, right? And each time you're escalating up, you're gaining another die, right? So this was a very, uh, you know, um, this game was structured in a really different way. There's absolutely zero games 
that have used this. But Dogs in a Vineyard is an absolute favorite for diehard indie tabletop role-playing game fans. It's a historically important game. Now check this out. All right, now why do we need a rewrite of Dogs in a Vineyard? Why can't people just play Dogs in a Vineyard? Well, I'll tell you right now, Vincent Baker is one of the most unusual designers on the planet. He is he is he has done this multiple times. He makes an unbelievably awesome rule system and then hides it in one of the most unplayable settings possible, right? Apocalypse World, right? Uh, the Apocalypse Engine, great t TRPG get engine. Apocalypse World, uh, you know, NSFW, not accessible to a lot of players, uh, trigger material in it, like really, really inaccessible. Um, Sage Latoura and Adam Cobell, rewrote the rewrote apocalypse world into dungeon world and made that game a rock star and that's really what got the apocalypse engine going but vincent baker is he is like this is all he does like he just he builds unbelievably innovative awesome rule systems and buries them in the worst possible settings right and here is and here's dogs in the vineyard dogs in the vineyard is the story of mormon missionaries in the west right and at this point in time today, uh, Dogs in the Vineyard is out of print. You cannot get it anywhere. I don't even think it's available as a PDF. It's not even sold as a PDF anymore, right? And so Vincent Baker has had such success with uh, Apocalypse Engine that he really no he really no longer needed Dogs in the Vineyard to remain uh, available, and he let it lapse, right? And the and the reason why is times have changed and like dogs in the vineyard only came out in like 2005 right but since then times have really changed and vincent baker was not super happy having his name connected to a game he wrote right so he really let that game lapse and just go away but there were super fans of the rule system and kn obao who wrote this game a lot actually contacted vincent baker and said hey when's the next version of that game coming out and uh you know vincent baker was like never and, um, and you know, and, and K.N. O'Bow explains this whole thing. And K.N. O'Bow said, hey, you know, I run this as, I run this every single year at Gen Con. I'm a master of this rule system. I would really, I want this as a generic system. Let's disconnect it from the Mormon missionary setting and just make the rule system available to everybody, right? And uh, Vincent Baker's like, I got other fish to fry. I'm not doing that. And he told K.N. O'Bow, go to town, you know, you know, Make it generic, reskin it. You can't use the dogs in the vineyard uh, setting, but you know, rules aren't copyrighted, right? So just redo if you want this, redo it yourself. So Vincent G Baker essentially gave his blessing to KNO Bow and um, and KNO Bow created dogs. So now you can use that that bid that dice pool bidding um, engine rules engine and you can tell any story you want with it, right? Which is really kind of, it's really, really, really interesting. So, um, basically, this is a very, very unusual game. Um, and it really has a very unusual path to publication, right? And I will also say, this really is a labor of love on the part of Ken O'Bow. And I will say, like, you know, Vincent Baker, man, that dude is a beast. Like, you know, people read his games and their lives are transformed. Like, he really is... He's like, I would say, you know, Vincent Baker, the poor man's Gary Gygax, right? Gary Gygax, if he went indie, you know, I, I think that's the best way to describe Vincent Baker and his legend continues to grow with, uh, with other people recreating his rule sets in very, very unusual ways. So dogs is a really unique game. It is absolutely the very best tabletop role-playing game that was published in the fifth week of April 2019, and you should check it out. Uh, please, uh, if you have played Dogs in the Vineyard, or if you played Dogs, please let me know your opinion of those games. I'd love to hear about it. Also, uh, what's your opinion with Apocalypse Engine games? I'd love to hear that as well. Um, please consider liking and subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.